all right guys in this video i'm gonna show you all seven locations for launch yourself through flaming hoops with a cannon so make sure to leave a like and subscribe and let's go so what's going on guys welcome back to another fortnite video today it's a very special day because we have the challenges for week 10 which are gonna unlock in four hours but of course i'm gonna show you the challenges in a little bit but before that guys i just wanted to say thanks to everyone who used my support creator code make sure to use the code is not body 40 as you can see on your screen right now and if you guys don't know how to use it you hit support the creator and you write not body 40 it resets every two weeks so that's a reminder you hit accept it gives you the little green check mark and you're done you're on the item shop and it says creator supported not body 40. also in today's item shop we got a brand new skin this one was not leaked at all so that's actually really interesting to see and it kind of looks like Dante from Dante's Inferno or also the unreleased Microsoft game Scalebound. It even has the headphones. The character, the main character in that game was supposed to have headphones. That skin looks like it was taken from Microsoft's idea, but it's actually a cool skin. Not many people enjoy it. So I don't know if you guys like it, make sure to grab it. We also have the new pickaxe, which comes with that skin. And these were from the encrypted files. We've never seen them before. And it was pretty cool. Also, the Inferno wrap is now available for 300 V-Bucks. And I honestly should get it because, as you can see, this looks super awesome on all the guns. And, all, I mean, all the vehicles as well. It just looks amazing. And, yeah, it's a really cool wrap. But anyways, let's go to the challenges. Alright, guys. So, week 10 unlocks in 4 hours. But, as always, we have the challenges leaked right now. And in this video, I'm going to show you all the free challenges this week. Which are going to be launched through hoops with the cannon. Harvest wood in a single match and eliminate the points at Tilted Towers or the block. But anyways, let's start off with launch through flaming hoops with a cannon. And according to the leak, you gotta launch through one hoop, but I think it might be three or even seven. So we don't know yet. So I'm gonna show you all the locations right now. Okay, guys, this might be a bit harder to do because as you can see, the Battle Royale map is gone from Playgrounds. And Fortnite just tweeted, we are aware of an issue where players are unable to access the Battle Royale map from creative and playground modes. So I hope they fix it so I can show you these challenges. All right, guys, I finally got creative mode to work again. And we're gonna be showing you all seven locations of the flaming hoops. You can see one in the distance, but first, we're gonna get the first one, which is the one right over here by Lazy Lagoon. So, as you guys can see, it's right on top of the pirate ship. And you might be wondering, but Boreal, that might be a bit hard to hit. And that's why I'm here to show you how to do that. Alright guys, I just noticed in creative mode, actually, all the weapon spawns, all the vehicle spawns are missing. Because Fortnite is broken today. So, as you can see, there is supposed to be a cannon right here, but there is no cannon. So I was a little bit confused and here is how we're gonna do it. I'm gonna show you basically where exactly you gotta aim if there was a cannon and show you all the locations and you gotta go to these locations and do it. Trust me, it works. I have the exact pinpoint accuracy. So basically what you gotta do over here is get in the cannon, right? Get in the cannon and aim it exactly where my cursor is showing right now. It needs to be exactly this much higher. So it's basically a ring and a half higher then where i'm looking at so it's exactly on the dot you aim the, your like aim dot over there and once you hit left click it should be sim super simple and you should be able to fly exactly through the flaming hoop and i'm gonna try and fix it right now guys but if i can't i'm just gonna show you the location of each one and uh, you would have to just trust me on that one aim the cannon hit left click with the cannon and it will shoot you through it as you can see guys even the spawns over here are missing. Every single cannon in the game is right now missing. I guess they disabled them, which sucks. All right, guys. So there is currently a problem with Fortnite where the cannons actually do not work in the game. But they'll definitely be fixing that as soon as the challenge is released. Because they're not going to release this challenge without having the cannons. Honestly, I mean, it's going to be pretty stupid. But basically, what we're going to be doing is I'm going to be showing you exactly where to aim and where the cannon is. And you will be able to complete this challenge. Super simple. But anyway, so the second location is over here right next to the volcano on the left on this pirate camp and basically this um, You know these rings of fire that we're looking for always seem to be located around locations where we have pirate camps I mean lazy lagoon is kind of a pirate camp itself But yeah, all the pirate camps are the locations well kind of but yeah, just just keep watching I'll show you all the locations. But anyways over here We have a cannon in the original game and it's aiming there and what you gotta do is enter the cannon. Don't press anything on your keyboard. Just move your mouse 
or your right stick if you're playing on the Xbox or PlayStation. And what you gotta aim is just aim towards the circle and then aim up about a circle and a half up. So if you guys aim exactly at this point or maybe even higher, I don't know, it should be about this point. And if you aim about this point and shoot, it should shoot you exactly through the ring of fire. And the hitbox is not too bad. So you should be able to, you know, you should be able to do it, but you should be aiming about this, this area over there. And once you aim it like that, once you shoot, you should be able to hit this spot exactly and do the challenge. So let's go to the next location where we have another one of these flaming hoops. Alrighty guys, location number three is located near Salty Springs. And again, we might need all seven locations. That's why I'm gonna show you every single location of a flaming ring. But here is my point, okay? There is seven pirate camps and seven flaming rings. So as you can see, this over there is the flaming ring and the cannon location over here in a real Fortnite game where the cannon spawn, which is what you're gonna be playing, is over here. And again, guys, you don't need to move the cannon. You just need to go on the front, hop in the cannon, and aim it and the aiming part is a little bit tough but you basically okay so here is what i'm saying you gotta be one circle above so this circle is just as big you gotta be a little bit above one more circle so you should be aiming around this area and if you aim towards this area over there on the screen where i'm aiming right now and left click you should fly straight through the ring and the thing with this challenge guys is that the cannons are disabled in playgrounds so playgrounds doesn't work this is creative mode and as you can see, you can't really use the creative mode because this thing broke as well. With the brand new update, they added the shadow bomb, if you guys uh, know about the shadow grenades. Uh, but yeah, so the vehicles are missing. The cannons are also considered vehicles, so they're missing. And they should be fixing that soon. But yeah, guys, this was location number three. And I'm gonna show you location number four right now. All right, guys, so unless you need to do every single location, I do not recommend this location because as you can tell, it's super far away, it's literally in the nothing, this ring, and uh, yeah, it would be kind of hard to get it, but what you gotta do is drop on this pirate camp, which is the pirate camp located near Pleasant Park, right over here, guys, on the minimap, and yeah, once you're here, guys, you gotta go towards the top floor, and as you can see, the items even work, it's just there is no cannons, but anyways, you gotta get towards this top floor, and over here, there is a cannon usually placed over here and what you gotta do this time you might actually have to push it a bit to the right so you can see the ring because as you can see like this you might not be able to see the ring so you might have to go back a bit push the cannon in this direction and once you're over here and you get into the cannon guys it's again this one is actually even more tough because you actually gotta aim much higher this time because this this ring is just hard to hit it's so far away and there might be an easier way but i can't find one because the cannons don't work anyways you gotta aim about three circles higher this time okay guys and just trust me on that one you gotta aim about this area over here about this area over here and once you shoot you should be able to get through this ring but again if we only need three rings not all seven just skip this ring because this one is literally the hardest to hit i know how to do it because i was doing practice before this video so i'm prepared because these were a bit hard to hit but as you can see i mean sometimes you just can't do it Anyways, this one was ring number four, and now I'm gonna show you location number five. All right, guys, you can see location number five. It's over the frozen lake near Polar Peak, and uh, yeah, the ring is not really high, so it's not too high from the ground, but the thing is that the pirate camp, which is the closest location where you can find another pirate cannon, is actually quite far away. So as you can see, we keep getting, we keep getting to do different shots, and it's actually getting progressively harder, so make sure to stick to the first three locations. Anyways, over here you can find the pirate cannon usually, it's on the second floor, you gotta pull it off, okay, so because the cannon aims this way, even if you just rotate it, it's gonna be super hard to hit, so you gotta pull it off and move it towards this area, and from here, once you put it over here, you gotta aim, and <laughs> just, I mean, bear with me guys, you gotta aim really, really high, you gotta aim about this area, about this direction, this high it's actually super high it's probably gonna look well because you know you you want the cannon to be as further away as possible and it changes a little bit the area you can't even really see the circle this time but you gotta aim this high in the air and once you shoot you're gonna get straight through this ring also guys another tip because this one is a bit harder if you want you can just push the cannon with yourself you can just push the cannon through this uh, area it's not too far and actually this is gonna be way easier and you can just push the cannon <laughs> straight into the frozen lake and once you're around this area i mean you can just you can over here you can just aim a bit 
oh, a bit over there, like a little bit above the ring and you would hit it 100%. But if you just can't do it, you can just come literally straight next to it and just shoot right through the ring and you would get this challenge. All right, guys, I'm going to show you location number six right now. All right, guys, moving on to another tricky location. Actually, these are kind of insane. The next location is at Loot Lake, actually, and you're about to see the ring right now. Okay, you can see it. It's down there. We've seen that on one of my live streams, guys. But what you got to do is drop on this pirate camp near Loot Lake. And the location of this pirate camp is actually left of Dusty Devo and the uh, bottom of Loot Lake with the new event going on. But anyways, you gotta drop over here, guys. And on the second to last floor, so over here, you have a cannon there, a cannon here. You gotta get into this cannon. And as you can see, the Ring of Fire is actually quite far away, but you don't have to move this cannon. And what you gotta do is get inside this cannon. And once you're in the cannon, I mean, your camera would change a little bit, as you guys know, but you basically gotta aim towards the ring, just like that. And then literally just trust me on this one. It just honestly, it's it's super hard. It took like 10 minutes to just figure out how to do it. But you gotta scroll up, aim up, and aim towards this part. Okay, aim towards this part of the wood. That is the one that I just broke. Aim towards this part, and once you shoot, you're literally gonna go flying super high. And then the thing is, this one is super hard. I don't even know how to explain it. But you first go super high, but because the ring is really far away from you, but still close to the ground, you gotta shoot so high that it kind of balances out and you will straight get, go straight through the ring. And just trust me on that one, guys. I don't know how else, else to explain it. And again, on this one as well, since the pirate cannons are not too far, you could just ride it down the hill and get it over here and just shoot through. But I mean, that could be really frustrating in, uh, in case there is other people around this area. That would definitely be frustrating because, I mean, yeah, <laughs> technically you can even build it, as you can see. You can even build next to the firing and just put the cannon over here and shoot it. But yeah, this is the location right near Loot Lake. And yeah, let's go to the last location. All right, guys, so we got to the last location and this one is actually super insane. <laughs> As you can see, it's super high in the air. So, I mean, obviously, you probably could guess it, but you gotta build to this one in order to do it. But anyway, so we're gonna grab some materials and uh, yeah, if there is no, if, it, if the requirement is three or one, if the requirement is not to shoot through every single uh, hoop, this is a good place to start because if you guys gotta shoot through every single hoop, I mean, no, this is the worst place to start. Don't start with this one. But if you guys need the location, it's, oh my God, my Fortnite's so glitch. It's right above Paradise Palms. It's right over there. And uh, yeah, as you can see, it's so high in the air that what you gotta do is you drop over here on this pirate camp. There is a cannon right here. As you can see, the window is here. And what you gotta do is no joke. Just start building a staircase towards the ring. And as you can see, it's even higher than it looks. It's even higher than it looks. So this one is super hard to get. And uh, we're gonna calculate exactly how much materials you need in the real game. I think it would be about 100 material, maybe 150. But yeah, now we're close enough. And as you can see, this took me 150 wood to build this staircase. So <laughs> this is what your game should look like. I mean, let's be real. If other people drop here, this is just gonna be kind of insane. You can probably build just like, you know, one little staircase and then shoot. But you gotta aim it properly. And uh, for this, this height, like for just the ring being this tall, you'd probably have to aim like straight into the sky. So I do not recommend that at all. Uh, but yeah, you get the cannon and you push it until you get to this ring. And yes, you can see this just looks ridiculous. And I don't know why Epic Games are doing this. And this is the closest cannon. I tried to look for other cannon locations and I couldn't find a single one. So yeah, I mean, we're at the pirate camp, but just look at that. Just look at that now. It's so far in the sky. It's just insane. But yeah, you grab this cannon, you just start pushing it up. You push it, you push it. And uh, I mean, this is gonna take a while, not gonna lie to you guys. And yeah, you just gotta push it up. Maybe from here you can hit it kind of easy. You probably gotta aim about this high and it would shoot and hit it. But yeah, you can just keep going until you reach the last hoop. And uh, yeah, this is hoop number seven. So it's only gonna be necessary if Fortnite challenge is to go through literally every single flaming hoop in the game right now. And I tried to find other ones. There is none 
over there there is none uh, towards the snowy part other than the one i showed you last one well six number six but yeah guys anyways this is the last hoop i hope you enjoyed it and i hope this was helpful i'm sorry that fortnite's broken but let's go to the next challenge all right guys the next challenge is harvest wood in a single match and this challenge will have three stages and it's actually gonna be quite time consuming but basically stage one would be harvest 500 wood in a single match stage two harvest 500 stone in a single match and stage 3, harvest 500 metal in a single match. The last challenge is eliminate opponents at Tilted Towers or the block. And this challenge requires you to go to the locations of Tilted Towers or the block. Tilted Towers would be the preferred location. But yeah guys, these are the week 10 challenges for Fortnite Season 8. And week 10 is the last challenge set of this season, which is Season 8. It's kind of crazy because... Season 8 just went by so fast. Let me know in the comments right now. Comment if you watched until the end. Comment right now, guys. And let me know which tier are you currently on in the Battle Pass. Because that's really interesting. I want to see how many people actually managed to complete this Battle Pass. Since it was free, but the challenges were a bit harder to do than last season. So, yeah, definitely gonna be kind of cool. And everyone keeps asking. I don't know if we're getting the next Battle Pass for free this time, guys. I don't know if Epic Games are that nice, okay? They're nice, but I don't think they're gonna be giving away two battle passes for free. Anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, check out other videos in the description, and I'll see you next time.